Okay, let's try to do this. It's a little test of recording today. Uh, I really did an attempt, but it didn't work quite well. Since then, someone sent me the ROM. My brother sent me the ROM so I can play this game from my childhood on my desktop computer. And now it works with OBS, so... Eee. So this is The Maze of Gallius, a game from 1983 by Konami. And it's awesome. Uh, I think I think it's older than Zelda, and actually it influenced a lot of video game design. But uh, we don't care about that. Let's go and start play Aphrodite and Apollon. So that's Apollon, or one of our two little heroes. Uh, the second one is Aphrodite. Yeah, she is. So the thing is, Apollon uh, is stronger, he hits harder, he kills enemies and breaks things f faster with his little sword, while Aphrodite is better at swimming. Uh, she can stay underwater, I think indefinitely, almost. Uh, we we'll have to check that because I, I didn't read a... Uh, yeah, a guy do anything before jumping that back into this, but... Uh, let's start with Apollon. Okay, we killed a little bat and we got some arrows here. I'm gonna break a stone. So we got a key here. Aha, I knew it was there, I remembered. It's from World 1 because we are in this big dungeon and in this big dungeon there are doors to other worlds and we need to do them in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and defeat the boss of each one in order to be able to enter the second one. I'm going to change to Aphrodite because when I pick up the key I'm leveling up and it improves my health bar which is much needed uh, with both the characters but since Popolon is able to kill enemies faster, uh, he should gain XP faster as well. Some skeleton, they are good for leveling up, they can be hit only from the back. They're quite weak, so that's cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start where it's easy. There were the creatures which are easy to kill. I just love this music. So, later in the game, well, quite soon, maybe tonight. Uh, this tonight is going to be very short because uh, my brother is waiting for me to play Among Us. I will get uh, an arrow, and this arrow will allow me. No, well. Uh, you get the arrow, which technically is the bow, because then when you got this single arrow allows you to use uh, the other arrows. Some money to buy stuff in shops. So you see my little XP bar filling up slowly each time I kill an enemy. So I used to play this not in 83 because I would have been only three years old. Uh, I don't know, probably 86, 87, maybe 88, uh, and it was on the, the MSX. Um, it was a, a great microcomputer, I loved that thing, I played so many games on it, so many good Konami games. Uh, sadly, I never played the original Metal Gear, which was on this platform, but I still played so many games I love. Probably gonna try to do those casual playthrough of several of them. the Konami code. I uh, don't know if I have time to, to do that today, but... And here's the arrow! Okay, I need to equip it. No, it's equipped. It's there. So This whole screen is gonna be filled with stuff by the end of the game. And all, each object provides me with special properties. 
which I had no clue about when I was a kid. Uh, there was no internet. I mean, it was, yeah, again, 86, uh, 87, maybe 89. Uh, no internet, no idea how to play this game. Uh, no access to magazines, uh, specifically about this game. So you were on your own. And uh, yeah, there was some kind of word to mouth, thanks to my father. Uh, he would bring me maps and codes, uh, but yeah, the codes were not working. Uh, I will tell a bit more about that later. Okay, so that's a spot I found in my previous test. It's a good place to level up. So I'm gonna try to level up, and then then I will go do the, the saving thing. Which is way... you cannot save from anywhere, you need to go to a specific place to save. So I don't want to go too much to the right there because there's a there's a wall which appears and would force me to go fight a, a big giant squid. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't want to know. So yeah, that's a good spot to uh, level up uh, in the most stupid manner can grab some arrows and coins usually in the process. Not tonight for some reason. Uh, maybe the, the version I played yesterday was tweaked to be easier. So the, because this is the ROM, that's straight like the, the game where it was. Like yesterday it was slightly faster. There's so even little stuff like little delays which... Ouch. I remember from the original game, which I in the room for, for some reason, which is quite cool. So if you die, pretty much that's it, you die. Uh, if you lose Populum, you still got Aphrodite. Uh, and there's a way to go somewhere to for one character to resurrect the other for something like a hundred gold coins. But the, I don't remember where it is. And and uh, yeah, it would be uh, really tiresome, so if I die at no further notice, I just start over. So at the beginning you really don't have a lot of health points. So technically you can go anywhere, I mean you need special objects to go in spe certain places. But beyond that... Uh, beyond that, uh, you can go wherever you want really. Okay, I leveled up uh, of a few points, which is quite miserable. But still, uh, it's about time to play Among Us, which sadly shouldn't be streamed. But uh, it's a game of Among Us in French, so I don't know if my few followers would be interested in that. But... Uh, oh, actually I can cheat! cheat my way to the save point. I remember now, there's an Aureola, uh, that's what it's called, which uh, allows me to travel directly there. When you have that, if you go into the menu and you press enter, you fly straight to where you are supposed to save games. I'm gonna shoot an arrow. Oh, wait. Should I go use the... Or should I go by feet? It's, it's kind of late. Uh, okay, so... First, I wanted to show that. That's the pose screen. Uh, you are on a little loo with your character. And if you wait long enough, your character will start slipping. Yeah, just as I said, in the little putty. Mm, I'm trying to get my son to do putty training, so uh, it's... Uh, Cheerful for me. Okay, so what happens when I press enter? It worked! So that's a screen much higher. But. Oh no! It's in Japanese. Wow, the code uh, thankfully is 
Ein äh, Romaji äh, Characters. So, we find. I'm just gonna take a screenshot because your save is sort of analog like that. You need to type all of that at the beginning of your game in order to um, uh, in order to in order to to get access to this. So you will reappear in this place with that health those objects, uh, but that's it, you cannot save from anywhere. Each time you want to save, you need to return here. But because I got the Aureola, it's fine. It's not too bad. On that, that's gonna be it for, for tonight. I don't know if anyone was watching another TV viewer. Who, I'm not sure if it's a regular or a bot. Uh, if you're a regular, thank you so much for checking on me. Uh, if you're a bot, uh, hello, but uh, I welcome all artificial intelligence overlord and uh, on that thanks for for watching us today uh, see you uh, maybe tomorrow I don't know I will try to do that semi regularly and uh, yeah make sure to oops, this way make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube uh, maybe check our podcasts on Apple podcast or any podcast platform you like or Spotify included or follow us, click follow here uh, on Twitch. Thanks and good night. <laughs>